What up guys on the winter park chain today? I think we got close to uh, 30 mile an hour winds. It's pretty crazy. Gonna see what we can do. What I just did to catch that bass was is I threw this jig, I'm using a half ounce jig with 65 pound braid, it's a gambler swim jig, and I got my cream ST craw on the back, and we're only in about two to three feet of water, super clear, I figured the bass, you know, there wouldn't be any fish here because the water's so clear, but the grass comes right up to that boat dock, and right where the area where the engine would be sitting, there's an area of cleaned out grass, so that fish was hiding on the inside of that grass waiting for a bait to come through there and boom he got it. So don't overestimate those shallow water areas because sometimes even though it may seem too shallow and too clear there's areas where the grass will come right up give that bass protection and cover but still allow him to come out and eat a bait perfectly. So that's why if I find a shallow dock with some grass I know there's going to be some fish there and he was sitting there right where that engine had cleared out the prop had cleared out the grass so cool little fish. Ooh, nice. I just caught another one. I caught another one off the same dock. <laughs> Took my trailer, but uh, see what I'm talking about? That grass, it came right up to that little dock right there. Little one, but hey, two fish is a pattern. jackhammer got stuck underneath the dock I had to jump in and get it I'm not losing 20 bucks that was crazy Yeah, baby! Switch to the screamer. Started getting some more bites. Were you trying out that new... Oh, baby! <laughs> it's amazing, man. You're getting a freaking school of them. Let's go! <laughs> yes! Oh, man! Woo! Man, look at, he's got some sharp teeth. Wow, dude. Wow, those are sharp. Ah. Come here. Another one, baby. That Team Fish Line Braid is killing it. We're using a real screamer, half ounce swim jig, 30 mile an hour winds. Let's go, just throwing it right in the back. I'm gonna put him away. Two pounder right there. We're throwing it right in the back of these arrowheads. The wind is so strong that these fish are pulling back in on the shoreline to get protection, so they're biting good. Uh, starting to get discouraged. It's amazing, man. You stick to the program, baby. Stick to the program. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh man, dude, I'm on him, baby. <laughs> I told myself, I said, the corner of those reeds, there's gonna be a fish. Boom, fish, bro. We gotta be close to, uh, close to about 11, 12 pounds right now. Not, not bad for a few minutes, you know. This is awesome. Unfortunately, the battery died and I just lost like a four pounder, three or four pounder right in these pads. The wind's really kicking my butt, but the fish are biting, so it's hard to leave. Time to get back at it.
on that dock bite, baby. Hey, a fish is a fish, and it's good to it's good to get a tug is the drug. Dude, fish after fish. Let's go. Woo. 